We're continuing all the fun on this Friday morning. Yeah, yeah, including asking the big question of every Friday. Where is Brittany? <laughs> Brittany, it's been a couple of weeks since we've asked that question, but we're glad to have you back. Uh, so you're surrounded by what looks like vehicles, but it's not yeah. your average vehicle. Where so are where, you? where are you? <laughs> they definitely are not your average vehicle. These are solar cars and they're made by high schoolers. So I am out at TMS for their solar car challenge. I'm joined by Dr. Lehman Marks he is the founder of this solar car challenge. Why did you want to start this and how long has it been going on? I've been building solar cars for 35 years and I started it because I wanted to find a way to take a learning experience out of a book and put it into hands of the kids. So we are the top project based STEM initiative project meaning they start off with a plan, they have to develop, they have to go fund the community, they fund it, uh, then they learn how to do the engineering, they build it, and then we give them a chance to also race it. But we are an education program designed to help these kids reach on to become the best engineers and innovators of the future. And what are some of the skills? I mean, you mentioned a lot of steps along this process. So what are some of the skills that the students take away from this? Well, they learn mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, aerodynamics, battery technology, strategy, but maybe more than anything else, they learn how to work together as a team. And that is so important, that being able to work together. I mean, that's something that we take for granted. Thank you so much, Dr. Marks. It's, Thank you. It's a wonderful program. And, you know, you guys have been actually seeing the Greenville High School Iron Lions. They are competing in two divisions, two advanced divisions. I mean, check out these cars here. They are absolutely amazing. 624 now. Welcome back to CBS News Texas Mornings. We're continuing all of the fun on this Friday morning. Yeah, and not only fun, but we're also highlighting some pretty incredible high schoolers. Brittany Rainey is at Texas Motor Speedway. And Brittany, I mean, these high schoolers and what they've accomplished already is impressive. It really is impressive, you know, and when I was here last year, I got to see the car from Greenville High School, who's who we're talking to right now, the Iron Lions, and they've made even more modifications on. So the team captain, we have Sebastian Gonzalez here. This is your fourth year doing the event, and this year you guys actually have two cars that are competing. Tell us about them. Yeah, so um, we have two cars competing this year, one in the Advanced Division and one in the Advanced Classic. Um, we have a bigger team for the same reason. Um, we've increased our numbers from last year, so... Um, if you remember this car, the uh, the advanced car Invictus race in the um, in last year's uh, cross country race, and then our new car we kind of revived. So um, that car was originally constructed in 2016, um, but um, the race came out with new rules and new technology. So what we wanted to do was see how a car could perform with the same body um, and upgrade the technology. So we took it down to the bones and we Goodness. built it from the ground up again. New batteries, new cells, um, and for Invictus or advanced car, we went through and we made some modifications as well. And you actually were driving the car when you set the course record on the road last year. How fast were you going? 72 miles per hour. How did that feel in the car? It was super exciting. Um, I think the most exciting part was that it kind of redefined the standard for solar cars. So um, in the past, the speeds would average around, you know, 30 to 40 miles an hour. But setting that speed kind of um, opened the doors for other teams and for ourselves as well to kind of um, make more progress and reevaluate what we were really capable of. And I mean, this is a really wonderful program. So why have you stuck with it? What, what do you guys get out of being a part of this project? So this um, program really bases itself around the project based learning experience. Experience, which is a really hot topic right now in education. Um, and the great thing about it is it's a hands-on approach um, to the same curriculum that is seen in the classroom. So um, we take away not only the actual um, technical knowledge, but we'll take away some of the um, life skills like teamwork, communication, uh, managing a project and budgeting. things. That like sounds that. like a lot of stuff that you guys are taking away. Well, good luck, Sebastian. I love their cars. They are so cool. And they're actually going to be spending a lot of time on the track starting on Sunday for that solar car challenge, guys.